I don't have a list of questions, um, but basically, um, kind of starting out from the beginning, because um, Mima and Papa owned the dairy industry, or not the dairy industry, but the dairy, dairy farm. farm. Um, what, um, what, when did you start working on the farm? Because I, I take it you worked on the farm. We moved down here when I was eight and Barbara 1952. was nine. 1952. February of 1952. I was hoping it was Papa started out with, I think it was three cows that we milked by hand. And I can remember getting up and milking at least one cow by hand before we going to school. But we took turns about a week getting up in the morning and helping the milk. Get up at 4.30. And I remember once they put the milking system in, and it was a surge milking system, but once they put that in and we had the big milk cooler, it was, the, the motor was very warm. <laughs> and Daddy would drag us out of bed and we would go down there and sometimes sit down after we got the milkers together while he was getting the cows in. We would sit down beside that warm tank and go back to sleep. <laughs> but we would milk and then come get ready for school and rode the bus. come home from school and milk again. Sometimes go back, if ball season was in, go back to ball practice. Mm -hmm. um. I don't know exactly how old we were when we started milking. Where'd you, where'd you move from? Maryland, right? Maryland. <laughs> Just a minute and I'll show you later. Why Maryland? Right. That's where Daddy's Daddy's father had a dairy farm outside of Emmitsburg, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And Grandpa Mainers and Daddy and Uncle Roscoe all came down here, and I don't know why they came down here, just looking for... Well, Grandpa and Roscoe came first. Mm-hmm. Well, this is what the farm looked like. Here? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out... The... Oh, huh. Your, your house would be right about here. Oh. And there's where Mother's trailer is now, and Curtis is and Brian and Mayor's circle back around through there. So where Ricky lives now. Do you remember the trailer park? Mm-hmm. Okay. See, that's where the trailer park is. <coughs> and this is not the house that we lived in when we moved here, but this is the... We lived in this house at one time. This was our our grandpa's house, our grandpa Mainers, and we lived in, at that time when we moved here, daddy had built a house and mm -hmm. we lived over here. There was a, a road out from here that led out to the, from the farm to the road and we lived in the corner of the farm road, the farm lane. Well, actually it wasn't a farm lane, it went right through the farm. It was a road that went right through the farm. And that was in Maryland? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, okay. I thought you were saying like Roscoe's farm, and I was trying to, I thought, that's, I do remember what the house looked like. Yeah. Well, and here's something Mother's got written on the back. said slaves stayed in the house during the war. I didn't know that. I've time. never seen that before. I'd like to have a copy of that. Wow. That is, that is this was done in 19, July of 1951, which is less than, yeah, less than a year before we moved here. Oh, that's pepper. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah, I remember that wraparound porch. Mm. We stayed in one side of the house and with upstairs and downstairs. Mm -hmm. And Grandma and Grandpa stayed in the other side. That was, that's a lot of outbuildings for that mm -hmm. time period. I, I don't, do you know why? They no, moved down no here. I have no idea. Well, when you think about it, they moved from Maryland. I mean, from Virginia. From Bel Air. Oh. Well, they moved from Virginia to Maryland and Bel Air, and they moved from Bel Air to here. At um, This was considered Emmitsburg. And we get people down here. But I can remember right in here is where they killed the hogs and had the big cauldron that they used to cook out the cracklings. And Alex, back up here, Daddy built us a brick house. Mm-hmm. A nice brick house. Yeah. And I don't know who all lived in this house. When Grandma and Grandma... I don't know. As far as I know, it's not there anymore. Um, it's underwater. Why is it underwater? They put a dam up there. This was the uh, old Freddie um, Phillips. Phillips. This was a a little boy that was our age, and he would come to the house every week. He and his parents came. We had a TV, mm -hmm. which wasn't something a lot of people had back then. And then you only had three channels, and it went off at midnight, and it was and black. And you had and to get white. up to turn the channels. Yeah, you didn't have remotes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he, I can still remember him coming in with his uh, guns and his holsters and his cowboy hat, because back then you watched cowboy shows. Hopalong Cassidy Hop, and Hopalong Cassidy, Gene Autry, Roy Rogers. I had a. A little cowboy jacket mm -hmm. and gun and holster set. It was red, wasn't it? The hat was red. Mm -hmm. um, are we, we're reminiscing. What can we, what do you need to ask us? Well, a lot of your reminiscing just like doesn't have to be linear. Um, are you taping it? I am taping okay. it. Okay. Um, You're lucky I can talk now. <laughs> well. We yeah. both, um, as we said, we both milked. We had to put the milkers together. The hardest thing I remember doing was getting the rubber gasket around the top of the milk can. Um, we had to um, wash the cows as they came in, and the stanchions were up, I guess, chest high or shoulder high for us at it's, the time. It's like the floor and this was where the cows stood. And your mama started at about 12, I think, milking. Uh, but our first barn, we milked three cows at the time. And the second one, how many did it have? Six, I think. On one or three on each it, side? No, it had more than that on each side, I'm sure. At least four. Well, maybe it was... Maybe. I don't know. You, your mama might know that. But um, we helped in the fields. You're talking about that here over right now? Uh-huh. The new barn. <laughs> oh, the new barn, you didn't have on each side then. Yeah, it was. See, this was, this was the old barn, and Daddy built that old barn. And then this is the new barn. Oh yeah, you got three on this side, didn't we? I can't remember over This is the outbuilding where the washing machine was, and when we first came, it was a ringer type washer where you had to put the clothes in and turn the handle and... It was an electric washer, but it had a ringer. After it was washed, you ran the clothes through the ringer. But I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was an electric washer. But uh, this tree is still there. That's the tree Pa was standing under when we moved in the day. He walked over and he stood there. 
and watched us while we moved in. A good looking girl. Pause, pick up. What was the dog's name that ran, that rode on the back all the time? With Daddy. Uh huh. Wasn't it Lucky? Because I remember when I was teaching at North Stanley and, and I could, my room was between Dale Newport and Carlin Styers, so I was down, the windows were up here and I could see traffic going by and I would hear the dog barking. Now Matthew's dog was lucky, I, Buster. 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 Buster, but I could hear that dog barking and I'd say to my kids, there goes my daddy. And they'd say, how do you know? And I said, well, I hear Buster barking. But um, but back in the, the, the old days. Well, actually, there's two buildings right here. You can't see but one. This was the woodshed. The wash the washing part was right over here. That was that was the cellar, <coughs> wasn't it? The, no, well, here's the cellar right here. There's the cellar right there. I thought this was the back no, part of see, the house. See, it, when we first moved here, this part was the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, but see right here, you can see the cellar right there. But by the by the time this picture was taken, because there's the, the new Ford, mm, yeah. by the time the house had been remodeled, we're um, we're digressing. And, um, we we both. Oh, well, yeah. See that with the the 